Hey guys and gals, Chartus here bringing you some more Minecraft Redstone today. Today we are taking a look at a contraption in the 1.4 pre-release. I'm not running 1.4.1 just yet, I didn't upgrade, but there's no bugs in this contraption, so nothing updating there would be would break this. So this is my new vertical bi-directional ship register. I only made three high because I don't have a world edit on here, and I did not really feel like stacking this up to eight. So this is pretty similar to my previous one, it uses the same same type of concept of uh, AND gates to move it up and down and then choosing which one to let through. Only this time instead of using piston uh, D latch is using the the bud, bud glitch. I'm using uh, locking repeaters to hold the st current state and uh, one tick model stable to set them. Pretty similar to how the, the piston one worked if you watch that. So there's three modes of operation. There's actually four, but that's kind of a weird thing. You'd probably never use it. So if this one's off, you enable sh shift up. If this one's off, you enable shift down. If they're both on like this, that'll just set the value to what is coming in over these red lines. So that's what we have right now. It's set value. So we're going to set a one into the bottom. And set that. I didn't see no, not much noise, just the click of the button. And there it's set very quickly. So now we're going to take these off. Now I didn't put any input protection on here so when you're shifting you want you have to have these all off. So that could simply be done with an AND gate, maybe some pi a piston AND gate if you want, but yeah, it just needs to, you'd put, want to put an AND gate on here to lock those out when you're shifting. Or even some fancier mechanism, whatever that button's pressed to lock them out. I don't know what you want to do, but that's, what I, that's your choice. So I left that part up to you. This is the main component. So now we're going to shift upwards, and we're going to enable that by turning that line off. And you can see nothing, no inputs, and we're going to shift, and you saw it went one up. Now show this isn't experiencing the other glitches where the middle one would get powered on when it's not supposed to. I'm going to leave that. And we're going to shift in another one, so we can actually shift in like this. And as you see, we got one, zero, one. It shifted up just fine. Now to show you the other mode, we're going to change this and shift down. So what we'd expect is zero, one, zero, because this bit would go down one, even though it would look the same for shifting up either way. So I'll just do it twice to show you. See, now it shifted one down, and we'll shift one more down to prove it. And ta-da, we've shifted down. Now, even though it's not as useful, I'll show you the third mode. It's the exact same mode as my other one had. I'll just shift this into the middle to make make it obvious what's happening. Okay, so we got zero, 010. Zero. So now what we're going to do is enable shift up and enable shift down at the same time. So what this is going to do is the middle bit is going to shift up to this bit and shift down to this bit at the same time. Every bit is going to do this. It's kind of weird, but it does <laughs> does work. It essentially ORs bits together if there's two going into one. So as you see, it went out there. So now next state is going to be just the middle one because this one's going to shift up. It's going to shift down to nothing. This one's going to shift up to nothing. And it's also going to shift down to this one. So you can use it to sort of toggle some states, but it doesn't work when you have two. It acts funny. So like, let's see, I'll set this top one up at the same time. Actually, if I do this and I toggle it, all three should be on. Or not. Uh... Ah, there we go. That button acted a little weird there. But yes, this is my vertical bi directional shift register. It's pretty much like the previous one I made, only it's faster, quieter, now that it uses these repeater locks from uh, 1.4. Hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, and uh, I do think it is actually smaller than uh, proper English's uh, horizontal one, but it is vertical. So. Take and choose. I like using vertical ones for certain things. It's also good for counters up and down. You can just shift a bit up and down to do a linear vertical counter. So this has been uh, Minecraft with Shartus K. Ho hope you enjoyed this and hope you can find some good use to it. Oh, uh, one more th thing. I'll just explain how this works here quickly. Um, so this torch here is the signal from an inverted signal from the repeater. It is also it also comes signal powers into here for this one to disable this torch here which is the downshift which is the upshift so you can see the torch would go into this one which goes into this block which powers this dust which powers the repeater above it 
and downshift is similar. It goes from the, this torch across, this one down one, and over here, through this glowstone down to here. Now it doesn't go back and forth because these are wool and only those are glowstone, so it only goes down onto this glowstone, into this block, into the re repeater going forward. So with that, hopefully you should be able to build this. These two glowstone towers are just for the selection selections. You can mess around with that however you want. And have a nice day.